Hey friends, Jeff here with MissionMusician.com and MixPractice.com and today I got a short little video for you on getting your mixes to translate better. Now before I get into the video, I just want to give a quick shout out to Adam over at Real Home Recording. Uh, I posted a video about my YouTube channel. I uh, just want to say thank you so much Adam, I appreciate it. And for any of my subscribers who haven't visited Adam's site, please go to uh, just go to YouTube and type in Real Home Recording and his channel will pop up and he's got plenty of cool stuff there for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. So thanks again, Adam. That was super cool. All right. So the topic of the day is how to get your mixes to translate better. Uh, we've been talking a lot about this over at mixpractice.com and I've actually shot um, a three-part series over there. So if you want to check that out, please join us. Uh, we're having a great time over there. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to show you a couple little tricks you can use to get your mixes to translate better. Now, there's lots of different ways to get your mixes to translate better. This is just one of those tools you can use to help you. Uh, so I'm mixing a song uh, by a great band called Walkney, and they sent the tracks over to me, and they also included... Uh, a reference track which is awesome and so it's very important to use reference tracks when you're mixing because you're kind of mixing alone in a space and you have nothing to go by you're just going by what you think sounds good so I always recommend you guys to use reference tracks when you mix um, because it will it, it will definitely help you as far as you know you can use it to figure out how loud the kick drum is compared to the bass how loud the snare is compared to the vocal and then you can also use it to see if you have too much low end too too much mids or too much highs is your mix sounding harsh compared to the reference and you need to turn down some highs things like that but today i want to talk a little bit more specifically about using reference tracks and kind of using um meters or uh, not meters but analyzers to kind of get your mix in the same ballpark so what i like to do is i like to use isotope ozone but if you don't have that don't worry i'm going to show you uh, a free plugin you can get that kind of does the same thing it's a little bit more difficult but you can still use it all right so let's listen to this reference track here really quick that uh walkney sent me Okay, so the vocals are super aggressive on this song. Uh, there's definitely distortion on them. Uh, and the drums are up the middle. Um, I mean, completely up the middle. There's nothing on the sides. I don't particularly like that aspect of this mix, of this reference track. Um, so I did not copy that. Uh, I did reference this track as I was mixing the song. But if we listen to the Walkney song, you'll see that it doesn't sound exactly the same. Um, so let's listen to a bit of the Walkney song here really quick. I met a man in Lower Borough by the name of Rage. He was an angel. Here's a couple of things he said to me. He told me, boy, you better listen to me. Because if you don't, they'll wrap your hands around your neck and hold you down until you choke. Before I heard these words, I walked along so easily. But let me tell you all a story. Okay, so it sounds like my mix is a little bassier and maybe missing some in the upper mids. Um, so I want to check that. Um, so what I would do is I would open Isotope Ozone, which I've already done here. And let's just, let's just go ahead and redo this here really quick. Uh, let's see. Let me delete this and delete this and get rid of this, get rid of this, and then let's capture just a little bit of the reference track 
and I'm gonna do that by going to snapshots and hit start capture <laughs> Right, that's good enough for demonstration purposes I'm gonna change the color and I'm gonna rename this Jack white all right and then let me capture just a little bit of the walk me oops sorry about that all right a man in Lower Borough by the name of Reach. He was an angel, here's a couple things he said to me. He told me, boy, you better listen to me, cause if you don't, they'll wrap your hands on All right. So now I'm going to go over to matching so I can see this a little more clearly. I mean, I can already see that I have too much information here. So the yellow is uh, Walkney, the green is uh, the reference track. So I have a little too much information here. I can see that. I don't have enough information here. Uh, so let's exaggerate this so I can see exactly kind of where the ebb and flow of this is. Okay, so if you look up here, that kind of tells when I put my mouse, that tells me what the frequency range is there. So it looks like I got a too, too much information uh, around anywhere from 150 up to 250 all right so that's a tr that's a problem spot in my mix uh, compared to the reference now it looks like I also have a little bit too much information around uh, four to five hundred which is odd because I almost always cut everything out at four to five hundred uh, and then it looks like I'm lacking information here uh, from about maybe 900 all the way up to about 2k all right so these are the problem spots in my mix and then um it looks like i could stand to use a shelf uh, on my master bus maybe just a, a small 1 db shelf to kind of get the overall brightness uh, back into it now technically i could apply this eq curve uh to the mix and we can hear what that sounds like a man in Lower Borough by the name of Reach. He was an angel, here's a couple things he said to me He told me, boy, you better listen to me Cause if you don't, they'll wrap your hands around your neck And hold you down until you choke Right? I do not like to do this um, I don't think it's a good practice All I'm using this for Is to tell me where my problem areas are uh, I don't want it to take, you know, a hundred and... 50 to 200 across everything out I just want to go to maybe my bass guitar and take that out I don't want it to add you know 1k to to 3k across the vocals the guitars the kick drum all of that I don't want that added into all that what I probably need to do is go to the vo excuse me to the vocals and just add some in there and maybe a tiny bit in the guitars in the 1k region okay so i am just using this as a reference and then again i would probably put a boost um, just a shelf boost to kind of brighten my mix up a little bit okay so if you don't have isotope ozone what you can do is you can go to blue cat audio let's see this is this is the Walkney track, so I'm going to put that, and I'll put that over here. And this is the reference track, and I'm going to put that over here. Oops. Messed up. All right, so that's Walkney. That's the reference. Okay. So you can go over to Blue Cat Audio and get this free uh, analyzer. And it's basically telling me the same thing. I've already played the, both the reference track through it and then Walkney's tune through it. So you'll see it's more of a gradual bump here from, what is that, 47 all the way up to 100. And then it dips down. And you'll see mine goes up 47 to 100 and even, well, 
and then it doesn't dip down as much telling me there's too much information around 150 all right 150 to 200 uh, then again you know we can look at this area here 400 to 1k and you can see that I am light this is the line that it's on on this one you can see I'm light here so it's telling me what it's telling me is my mix is too bassy and if we look at the upper end uh, let's see here so this line here that's all okay starts getting a little bit I'm, I'm missing some information around here so this is a guideline for me so I could go technically I could go into the vocals and I could uh, let's see here I could go to the vocals and I could put an EQ on the vocals and I know that I am shy around the 1 to 2k area and I would think that that would be a good place to boost on the vocals and I'd probably do a kind of a wide boost um, somewhere around there uh, maybe up a little bit higher somewhere in there and I would listen to it and then you know maybe the guitar bus I would come in put an EQ uh, somewhere around 1k somewhere in that range and again do a wide boost and then I would go to the bass and I would probably cut around 150 to 200 somewhere in between that area and then finally I would go down to my mix bus and I would put an EQ on it and let's see just a regular stock EQ and just do maybe from an 8k up not that much though maybe about a 1 dB boost here all right and now I haven't listened to what any of those sound like so it may sound terrible but let's just listen really quick for the fun of it I met a man in Lower Borough by the name of Reach. He was an angel, here's a couple things he said to me He told me, boy, you better listen to me Cause if you don't, they'll wrap your hand All right, and then I would tweak it from there. Uh, that's just, again, don't mix with your eyes. That's not what I'm saying here. Don't miss the point that I'm trying to make. These are just kind of tools to use to get us in that ballpark so our mixes translate from one system to the next because there's no perfect stereo system out there. It's, it's always going to sound different on different systems, but we want it to be kind of a consistent kind of thing where you know it's not too bassy on a bassy system and it's not too trebly on a trebly system so on and so forth um so we're looking for that we're looking to use the reference track and we're looking to use an analyzer to see what the problems are in our mix so we can go and adjust our mix so it's not too bassy not too harsh you know all that kind of stuff all right so hope you enjoy this video if you do subscribe and like um, again, if you want to join us over at mixpractice.com, please come on over. Uh, we're having a really awesome time. We got some great members over there. And again, I'm shooting a whole series on using reference track that's going to span the next three months. So, uh, and then finally, you can download my free bundle uh, over at missionmusician.com. Uh, I have a free bundle over there just go over to missionmusician.com and hit the free stuff button in the menu and you can get some free stuff thanks for watching guys i'll see you again in another video real soon talk to you later Bye bye